Madam Chair, thank you. For, thank you for this hearing. Thank you to all the panelists today. And I, I'm going to follow up uh, with something Ms. Weingarten just said. <clears throat> Look, I'm going to express, of course, my just heartbreak for the brutal murders we saw yesterday in Texas and also across this country just in the last several weeks. Because uh, what we're seeing is not just a proliferation of guns, we're seeing a proliferation of hate. I come from Florida. We have a big teacher shortage. It's, it's predicted to be about 9,000 teachers next year. Uh, we call ourselves a sunshine state. It's the sunshine state except in the classroom. We've had two policies that the governor and the legislature have just enacted, Ms. Weingarten. I'd like to get your opinion on them. Uh, there's, this, the, there's a bill uh, that bans any classroom discussion on gender, gender identity, sexual orientation in, in grades K through three and bans discussion that any parent might find are inappropriate in grades K through 12. It's been called the don't say gay bill, but obviously it's, it's much more than that. <clears throat> and then there's the Stop Woke Act which limits uh, workplace and classroom discussions on race, gender, and oppression, stifling uh, uh, education and, and a dialogue about race, diversity, inclusion, and truths in Americans' founding. In other words, I mean, we, they banned something like 40 math books because they, they actually asked the question, one of them, how do you feel about math? So you're not allowed to understand under, and, understand what children are feeling, uh, respecting their, their family life. And I'm just uh, wondering uh, how, if, if you've thought about how these restrictions can contribute to uh, recruitment challenges and driving teachers out of the workforce. So Congresswoman, as you can imagine, of course I have, but part of what's happened over the course of generations is that when there is uncertainty in communities, you, there is fertility for a cultural war in schools. You saw that back in the Scopes trial, you know, years and years ago on the issue of evolution versus Bible studies. And I say this as someone who is married to a rabbi and very religious. You see this now in terms of the anxiety that parents have, and it's fertile ground because of, we have to make sure that we help kids recover and thrive in the aftermath of COVID. It's the aftermath of COVID, as opposed to all the other things. We all tried to do the best we could. In fact, parents get this. The last NPR poll showed that 88% of parents thought that teachers did the best they could. So what we need to do is create an environment in schools where, where kids are free to dream and free to think and free to be themselves. And that's why the don't say gay law is so um, negative because how does a teacher, if a child says something in a class that's under you know, grade three, what is a teacher supposed to do? And, and it hamstrings the relationships between teachers and kids. And in terms of history, I'm a history teacher. We have to teach honest history there are, there are people right now who can't figure out how to teach about what happened in Buffalo because there are things they can and can't say. We have to trust our kids and make sure parents know what we're doing to actually make sure that kids feel the relationships, the agency, the empathy so that we can be a more perfect union. We gotta trust people to be able to do this. Yeah, I, I thank you. And, you know, we, we don't know yet what the motive was for yesterday's shooting. We do know that some of these other shootings these past several weeks were definitely racist in nature. And we've seen that, you know, for the past several years. I mean, cer certainly mental health issues. Uh, but I just getting back to this Florida law is, you know, if it seems to me if teachers have to be on pins and needles, <laughs> that they can't say anything that would make somebody uncomfortable because they talk about racism is just an idiotic law and really is gonna cause more racism, more hatred, more violence uh, in, in this country. And with that, uh, thank you all again for being here today. Uh, I yield back.